Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Books on Tape with your host, CGC. Tonight, we'll be reading Assembling the Children of the Moon, written by Michael Crocker and Heather Kraut. Chapter 1. My name is Nova Blackheart, and this story is about me and my friends getting a wicked group together to worship our gods and goddesses. During my freshman year in college, I meet some interesting friends, ones who worship Wiccan. One day in my multicultural awareness class, I meet this most coolest and sexy guy ever named Skylar Silverblade who had beautiful straight black hair with pink highlights and vibrant sky blue eyes. I was sitting by myself in class and he comes over smiling with a beautiful smile I have ever seen and sits by me and he smiled at me. He asked if I was single and I tell him, Yes, I am. Why are you asking? I smile shyly at him. I was wondering if you wanted a love to spend an eternal life with you. Plus, I think you are really cute, he tells me. I blush and said, Thanks, you are pretty cute yourself, stud, lol. He laughed and said, Thanks, so there is this club named The Jungle, and I was wondering if you would like to go out tonight with me, he said to me. Sure, I tell him. I would be honored, and can my two friends come with me? They're like family to me, I ask him. Of course, the more the merrier, and make sure you wear something sexy, okay, stud? LOL, Skylar tells me. See you tonight. I get my phone out and call Asia to tell her that she and Alice are invited to come with me to the Jungle Club. Okay, great, she tells me on the phone. I will go tell Alice to get ready, she tells me. I'm on my way to the apartment, so I see you in a little bit. Okay, bye, Nova. See you in a few. Asya hangs up the phone, and I head out of the university front door to head home. I arrive home and ran up to my room and changed. Everybody ready? I ask Asya and Alice as I headed back downstairs to head to my car. Make sure I get back home around 12 p.m. because I have midterms tomorrow, and yeah, we are ready, as you tells me. We all got in my car and headed to the jungle club to meet up with Skylar. We arrive, and I see Skylar standing outside with his sexy outfit on, smiling at me as I got out of my car. Hey, Skylar, these are my two best friends, Asya and Alice. Nice to meet you, Asya said. Nova was so excited to come see you. Nice to meet you, Alice said. Yeah, and Nova would not shut up because he was so excited to come here. Finally, after Skylar meet Azzy and Alice, we all headed into the Jungle Club. Later at the club. I cannot believe he was here. I spent my whole life running from Trevor, the one who tried to kill me and my sister. I'm so shocked that I had to leave the club to go take a smoke break. I lean over to Nova and whispered in his ear, I have to go take a smoke break and clear my head. I will be back in a few. I walk outside the club to smoke a cigarette on the sidewalk next to the club. My name is Asya, and to tell you a little bit about myself, I am a mixed girl, half Asian and half African American, and I am also a werewolf. I think back to how life used to be simple when mom was alive. And back before Wicca came into play, I sigh. I'm so tired of this. I still can't believe that I'm so scared of a human being, especially to someone like Trevor. I started getting mad and so I decided to shout, DAMN IT! and punch the brick wall with my fist. He should be between my teeth. I should have fought back, but I didn't because I was madly in love with Trevor. I told him what I was and thought that he would accept me for what I was, a female werewolf. Not the evil ones that got bit, but the one that was born, which I had werewolf blood in me. I was born to defend humans like my sister Alice. To be honest, I couldn't even do that, protect my own flesh and blood. I was the sorriest female werewolf alive. And then I sigh. My life has so far been nothing but full of crap. I mean, it's so hard to raise a young witch like my sister Alice. As I continued in thought, Alice walks over to me and started talking. What is wrong with you? And why did you just leave all of a sudden? She asked me. 
I look at her with a smile and tell her, It's nothing, sister. I just wanted to clear my head a little. I really love my sister, but some things I just have to keep to myself. I say to myself, I know Alice was worrying about me, but I am the one supposed to worry about her. It was my job after all, plus I am the oldest. She is just the baby. I do not want her to think that I would need her help with issues I am having. I just can't tell her is all. The most important thing right now for Alice to do is just stay strong and let me look after her because I told mom that I would. My mom was Kagomi, the love of Inuasha, the guy who loved my mom very much and tried his best to save her. I am a lot like my mom because I always want to try my best in protecting ones dear to me. And also, I am kind of stubborn like mom too. Mom was such a great person. I miss her a lot. I really wish she was here with me and Alice right now. We both could use her help with the issues we are having. I turn toward Alice and just smile at her. Inside the club. While Skylar and I were sitting in the booth, we saw Asya walk out and we wondered what's going on with her tonight. Alice turns toward us and tells us that she needs to go out and check on Asya and she will be back soon. I tell her, okay, but I will be out there in a few, s few, so see you guys in a few. Alice leaves the club and it is just me and Skylar sitting in our booth looking at each other and smiling at each other. You look great tonight, Nova, says Skylar. Well, thank you, kind sir. You look great yourself, stud, I tell Skylar. Well, what can I get you, sexy gentleman, said our waiter. I would like a tequila to drink, I tell him. And then he turns to ask Skylar. You, sir, what would you like? Just give me the special and a hurricane to drink, that's all, he tells the waiter. As the waiter leaves, Skylar asks me, Is that all you want, Nova? Are you sure you aren't hungry? I'm sure, Skylar, but thanks for being so concerned, stud. The waiter returns with our order, and I tell Sky that I need to leave to go check on the girls and ask him to watch my drink for me. Sure thing, Nova, he said. Then I kiss him and head out the front of the door of the club to go check on Azzy and Alice. As I arrived outside the club, I started having a flashback to when I was a child and my horrible father was biting my neck and was raping me. At this moment, I got weaker. Next thing I know, I landed on the sidewalk and hit my head so hard, which completely knocked me out. The flashback was still going on, and the last time I hear someone's voice in the distance, but could not tell whose voice it was. Nova! Can you hear me? Are you still alive? Someone is calling my name. I wonder who it was. Outside the club. I finally got done smoking my second cigarette and head back inside, and of course Alice is following me like a lost child. I turn the corner and see my best friend Nova on the ground, knocked out. Alice, go get Skylar and bring him here now, I yelled at her. Okay, I'm going. I will be back in a few, Alice tells me and quickly runs inside to go get Skylar. I bend down to check to make sure he was breathing, and he was, thank goodness, I said to myself. As I was bending down, he was saying something, but I could not understand what he was saying. Come on, Alice, I thought to myself. Alice and Skylar finally arrive and I told them to stay with Nova while I went to fetch Nova's car. I quickly got in the car and drove to where Alice, Skylar and Nova were. I pulled up into the driveway and quickly hopped out of the front seat to open the back door so they could put Nova into the back seat. Everybody quickly got in the car and I drove to the highway. Okay Skylar, I'm taking you home. Show me where you live, I tell him. We got halfway down the highway and Skylar pointed to a creepy looking apartment and told me to turn there. As I turned into the driveway, I looked out of the car window and thought to myself, I think this is where Trevor lived. Thanks for the ride, I will call Nova later to check up on him, he tells me, and then heads into the house. I quickly drove out of Skylar's driveway and back onto the highway. We finally arrived back at the apartment. When we pulled up into our driveway, me and Alice pulled Nova out of the back seat and carried him up to the apartment. We enter our, our apartment and place Nova on the couch. I ran to our kitchen and got a cup of bagged blood out of the refrigerator. I then heated it up and brought it back to Nova as he was finally awoke. He quickly drunk it up and I sit by him on the couch to ask him if he felt any better. Yeah, I feel a lot better now. Thanks for that, Asya. It really helped me out, he tells me. 
I quickly thought to myself, I hope these flashbacks don't start happening again. I got up and walked over to the living room window and sat in front of the window. I looked out the window and thought, I cannot believe Trevor lives with Skylar. I hope he doesn't harm him. Well, I'm heading to bed, Nova said to me. Good night, see you in the morning. Good night, I tell him back. I might as well head up to bed also. As I headed up the stairs, I called to Alice to tell her to also go to bed, and she said she was. That concludes the telling of chapter one. Please comment below if you would like me to read chapter two. Thank you. Thank you.